And now a first for South Florida, the only place on earth where you can fly and experience weightlessness. This is the ultimate thrill, experiencing what only a handful of astronauts have ever felt. Must be amazing. CBS 4's Dave Malkoff takes us along for the ride in G-Force 1. I've never been much of a morning person. 8 a.m. is quite frankly for the birds, but as the sun's golden light started slowly covering the Hollywood Hard Rock's guitar, I realized there are some things once relegated for the birds they are now on sale for the rest of us. Oh, thank you. The Hard Rock was where I would sign those papers. This one is um, the kind that sign away any liability. I'm excited to have you on board. To you be know quite what? Honest with you. Any chance to sue people? We are about to take the world's largest roller coaster flight. When you're doing something kind of crazy, it's such an unusual. It's, it's really like being inside a magic show. And I gotta admit flight suit they give you is kind of cool. So we have earplugs for you. It's the equipment you'll need when you're going to board a plane that takes a nosedive at 32,000 feet. And we're going to do that about 10 times today. In that case, I may need more equipment. I'll give you these uh, once we're on the plane. On a flight like this. I notice everyone's, you know, got a few people sitting kind of like this, maybe a little tentative and thinking, well, I, you know, we'll see what this is like. I may even need an extra barf bag. There also should be bags in your seat back pockets. This is where we're headed, modified 727, run by a company called Zero G Corporation. The only place on earth where you can experience weightlessness. It is my pleasure to christen this airplane GeForce One. And it takes off from Fort Lauderdale International Airport. Pilots seemed okay with dropping a plane full of people out of the sky while they floated around inside. I, on the other hand, didn't know what to expect. They don't just rush you into this. Right now, the airplane is heading up to about 32,000 feet. I can feel my weight just pushing down on me. Right now, I weigh about two times what I would normally weigh. But right when we get over that hump, whoa, whoa, I love playing catch. They're playing catch with me. $3,000 a pop, they turn anyone into an instant softball, starting first with Martian type weightlessness. This is what you would feel if you were on the surface of Mars. Whoa! But it only lasts for a matter of seconds. Then the plane pulls out of the nosedive. That is just amazing. Woo! Feet down. It means feet down. We're coming back to normal. The next time you lose even more weight, you are an astronaut on the lunar surface. But remember, those guys had 420 pounds of pack on their backs. They still were able to jump around, leap over Tranquility Base. This is about that. Matrix. This is actually how they researched those Matrix moves for the movie and shot Apollo 13. Tranquility base here. The Eagle has landed. Then the final time you go up, you're experiencing zero G, the best thing to do. Skittles, anyone? Yeah. Woo! I'll spin you around. Do I get frequent floater miles for this? Yeah. Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. It was also about that time. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. Eyes started turning a little green. One giant leap for mankind. What's a little space sickness when I got to experience what only birds and buzz once could? Oh. Weightless oh. flight, oh. if only for an instant. That's Saturday morning. Dave Malkoff, CBS 4 News. I wonder if Dave cleaned up the Skittles mm. that flew and all over the place. And everything else. Yeah, and everything else. That is an amazing <laughs> thing to do. That would be fun. Coming up next, Brian Norcross with the Thanksgiving Day forecast. We will be right back. <laughs> it is the new ultimate high in Las Vegas. And it may be the best loss you ever take. Dave Malkoff takes you to zero gravity over the Vegas Strip. In this town. possible if you've got the cash. Yet the Las Vegas airport is about the last place you'd expect to look for a high roller attraction. We'll try this one, see how that fits. It all begins with the flight suit. See if I can't give you some assistance. And on this flight, Buzz Aldrin is going to sit
We've got an expert at these kinds of things. We're about to come as close as you can get to space travel without breaking orbit. Zero G is the company. I wanted to be an astronaut since I was nine years old. Peter Demandis is the CEO bringing this adventure to Las Vegas. This is his plane. And this. And do what with the airplane? No! This is what he does with his 727. Over the top, you're weightless. At about 32,000 feet is the maximum height. And then back down, you have about 1.8 gravities. Nose diving the plane, then pulling up at high speed, does this. Effectively turns off Earth's gravity for everyone inside the plane for about 30 seconds. They were doing hundreds of flights with the KC-135. Okay, got the flag up now, and you can see the stars and stripes on the lunar surface. Buzz Aldrin first flew on these same kind of weightless flights when he was training for his Gemini and Apollo missions. Back then, they called the plane the Vomit Comet. This is a motion sickness pill. Just take one. Good thing that part's been fixed. These days, it's a private company taking not just astronauts, but anyone with $3,500 for a walk in microgravity. Once we're in a clear airspace, the pilot takes his first dive. And inside, zero gravity. Woo! Zero gravity. I don't know which way it's up, and neither do the skittle. <laughs> when you're up here, you're going to want to experiment a little. One person is going to be the releaser, and one guy is going to be the popper, OK? Water balloon fights are a little different in space. Tell me what we're doing with these water balloons. <sighs> we're going to have water all over the damn place. <laughs> in bubbles. And they're a little different up here as well. When they yell feet down like that, you better lie down fast as you pull almost two G's coming out. You feel your weight increasing as you go up the hill. I'm getting to be about two times what I would normally weigh on Earth. There's a serious side to all this floating madness as well. We need the civilian support for the exploration. I'm gonna step off the land now. Flights like this one bring space travel down to Earth for anyone who wants it bad enough. Right here in the city where anything's possible. Anybody who's been in some orbital space That's one small step for man. is very enthusiastic and we want them to carry on that enthusiastic message. One giant leap for mankind. And before you ask, no, I did not throw up, but this isn't the first time I've done this. I did it back in 2004 in Fort Lauderdale. That story, photos, and information on how you can get on the flight, plus the cost on our website, cbs2.com Dave.